do course, that. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of gets thrown out the window a bit here, and the matchup's going to be a lot more even. I and like this. Bit. Yeah, as yeah. Uh, as someone did point out, it is the red strat really from Moro Gaming Unity. Very apt as well with their logo. But, yeah, it's plenty of HP regen available at the SF. And when you're decayed, you get extra value from Tango because you're at a lower HP pool. Top lane. And you get that in your in business. Right? This lane from DC and Moon and Sax are able to go in. Such a fast point. That it is great. ridiculous. Look at the money. Five minutes in and 1,600 gold. Yep. They're pushing the tower too. The cold Radiant embrace on the creep. And he, what the hell is the clock doing? I mean, does he want to give Moon like the quickest blink we've seen in, in the trees? There was some at the front of it. I don't think it caught it. Yeah, there was the uh, Hawk there, but it was just out of range of the okay. smoke, I want to say. So let's see what Moon gets to jump. Hey, no points in Epicenter yet. Uh, it looks like he doesn't need it. Straight in with the Borrow Strike. Misery as well. Bring him down low. A good shackle shot into the pass. That brings Arjit low, but not quite low enough. Barfu comes in with the cold. They do end up finishing the SF with the blast from Saxon. Now they'll turn towards Arfu. A second Borrow Strike from Moon catching out the clock. As DC get away with the two kills in the mid lane, and Moon continuing his rise to, to, to more and more money. He, obviously, his team get a lot. They're up now 5 0. They've kept the Naga Saren free farming. Uh, Rezo oh. is still in the offer. Misery has walked into a bit of a, a, bit of a kerfuffle here. Misery. He's to keep himself alive. He's trying his best here with the Soul Rip and the Decay, but it's not enough. There's four WG Unity surrounding him and bringing him down. So they get themselves the first kill on the board here, WG. Kill there. Any other hero wouldn't have really been worth it, but uh, breaking the SF, taking down his soul count, uh, and slowing down his fire is a big, big hair, but it is still WG. Top. Good position to, no, no, to jump up. No, no, he's not having a good time work. down bottom. Self involved in kills as well now. They're putting pressure onto the bottom tier one. Six to one, it's yeah, looking like DC uh, are just on another level at the moment in this game. Oh, no. Yeah, misery here. Oh, there's no point. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Now it's all So forward solo kill. Yep. Uh, nice. Just keeping on the trees there. You don't see if he sees that TP coming in. It's not going to work. But that's not happening at the moment. It's been a very impressive early game showing from DC. Oh. Even like that, they're coming in. They're looking for Saxa. Oh, and the straight it. back in, Moon jumps in with the Burrow Strike. And again, it's this same one. Yep. They were like, yeah, we could try and walk apart, but they just not realized that DC see everything. Tower. Something that DC can't really. They're trying to defend it with a Splinter Blast, but these masters doing a good job to zone the win. Oh, it's a nice hook shot. So they should get something out of this one as well as just the tower. And indeed, with hookshot into Raw, they look for Saxa. He's going to be making them work for it. Finally goes down there to a raise from Arjit. It's not the most worthwhile kill in tower. That, they bring five heroes to force the tower. He could have made some sick plays there, but his, him dying doesn't really hurt DC at all. Uh, it was just him trying to make a play. And this works. Master Kangaroo, a little ambitious there with how far he moves forward. DC immediately punishing him there for, for that movement. Ideally catching out the Winter Wyvern, <laughs> but that's a hard hero to kill. This is, yeah, I mean, if can he actually get the kill with this? He's pretty deep. Does he really want to jump out? He actually does. In the midst of four members, he's got the backup on its way. Hookshot's going to miss, though, unfortunately. WG has to think twice about sticking around for this one. Moon coming in with a beautiful two-man power strike. Shackle is not going to latch, but the damage with the Maelstrom and the Power Shot will be enough. The Sleep's there to cancel Arfu's TP, make sure that DC find themselves a second kill. They may not be done yet. Arjit is able to TP out. They don't quite find him. But some very aggressive attempt to play there from WG. Clockwork, but problem is you hook him, then he can ideally fly out with the Arctic Burn. So even for that, he may have an escape. I'm down bottom. Exactly. Yeah, they're looking for him, and they're going to find him. Arfu trying to hide in the tree line. Power shot makes short work of the defenses that he was trying to, to protect himself with. Uh, read every movement that WG make and uh, managed to dodge everything. I mean, it's a life stealer, beast master, lion, clock draft with three kills at 20 minutes. Oh, uh, gone on Moon. The epicenter, they're ready. Here we go. Jumps in, finds the burrow strike on Sanana, getting huge amounts of damage out. There's no rages available. He's trying to arm the top of his way out of this. Then. Nice to infest. Uh, might actually make the infest, but no. The blast perfectly timed there by Saxa. He was trying to infest. If he did, if he got, that, he had he to use lived. that Winter's Curse for a little bit longer. So easy to yeah. time it perfectly. Winter, it's like an indirect buff to Winter Wyvern uh, with adding those stun bars. But um, oh. uh, 
man, at this point. This is the scary thing with a win. 20 minutes in, if you've got Blink, if you've got Maelstrom, the, the solo pickoff potential is absolutely disgusting. Smoking up, but it's not going to be in time to stop Roche. On the wrong side of the map, WG at the moment, as Roche is down, Aegis into the hands of Weeha. And we'll see if they want to try and follow through with this. Arfu is looking for some action. What about the Rocket Flare? Is he going to commit for this? He tries to, but he's not going to find the hook shot. Again, that's probably for the better. I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know how that would have went through Arfu. And, and he's, he's in a lot of trouble now. Power shot and the last Maelstrom prop comes through. And this Glock's out. Nana could be in trouble as well. Saxa coming in from the sideline, laying down the slow onto this life stealer. Nana to pay off his life as well, and they're not done. Oh, no. Rezo's moving forward. They've got the song on to both the Shadow Fiend and the Lion. Moon and Resolution closing in onto X Nova. On the back lines, Weeha, Saxo, and Misery finish off. Oh, the, the Shadow Fiend. Oh, Jit. He's out, and this. Easy way to, to win the fight at that point. This has been very, very impressive play from DC, obviously, with that first series of the day, going up against LGDFY, having a win now here, looking to be pretty strong. Oh, my God, he nearly survives. He, the Glimmer Cape resistant, not enough to, to save him at the end of the day, but Moon wants to go back in with the epicenter, jumps in, hits the stun onto one, Shackle's not going to allow Nana will survive with the finger that should be able to take down the clock. They'll take the tombstone as well. They may be able to even find more. We get the blink out, Arfu, looking to chase down. Weeha just turns around and kills the clockwork. So does Weeha want to go for some sort of a play here? He may may think about doing so. Shackle isn't going to latch in that. That could put the end to what could have potentially been a nice little flashy play from him. He's blinking forward. So you think of Vine Nana. It's not like a Deso or anything kind of gimmicky like that. It's just more like a, a standard when you're in your build. So until you get like a big DPS item from Ranger, it's not getting built. Oh, oh. Surely he doesn't get him. No, look at the roar out. The storm comes through, but he's already raised the life stealer, so he's able to kill off Moon. But here comes Saxel with the ultimate, cancelling the TV, holding Nana in place. They've got the life stealer and the Beastmasters. DC turn around that play from WG Unity and slam it straight back in their faces. Yep. Maybe a timing where they could possibly go high ground again. It's not like they're in any rush, even if they get that Aegis and don't. Just on the edge. Really that must nice. have been the last miller. So that was close. He gets him. Oh, I like it. All right. He actually survives for the time being. I mean, he does need to be careful because there's an epicenter somewhere. Right here. Yeah, yeah Moon Epid on the lion. They'll come in. They'll surround Kangaroo. Moon is out of mana. And Moonana coming in. They can't quite get the killer because of the cold embrace keeping Moon alive. Archie does have a shadow blade and a rec room at the ready. Not looking for the stun, Arjit in the middle of it, all going for the big red room play. He'll get a huge amount of damage out. Weehar taken out by one more raise if he can find it, but he's like only used Weehar to find some indeed Arjit. He didn't have the, the energy in the tank to, to pop him up, and in come DC back onto the SF. Moon jumps back through. They'll take the Shadow Fiend down. Nana trying to eat down on the tombstone, but DC, they're hungry. They're ready to chomp down on the life in himself. Gets himself inside one of the creeps. They just need to, to take that out. They could finish him off. Zaxa jumping in. If can find this kill, Nana and Arfu on their retreat back to the base. The Splinter Blast catches out the clockwork. Nova's there on the line though to hold them back and Nana I ends up surviving around. yeah they want to look for Saxon they'll find it finger and all Nana coming in for the last touch we have in the high grass he can finish off Nana but Nana survives keeps himself alive here power shot's gonna miss and through it all Nana stays alive yeah by hand in a full-scale team fight overall net worth still leading by just over 15,000 oh, that could be in trouble they're picking him out they know he's there the raised TP but the winter's curse is there Saxa again Setting up for the team. He's been where he needs to be every single time. This is why, I mean, this five, is showing us five. how scary a Wyvern still can be. Now looking for the, the setup camp They're here. pushing mid and bottom at the same time. They don't even care yeah. about sticking together right now. That's how confident DC are. What are they going to do about it, WG? They're still without Nana for 20 odd seconds. And DC, and we have to take the melee racks bottom. And mid lane, we'll see how much they can get done. Tier 3 to 4. Archie trying to do his best to hold back this push. Saxon, trying to finish off the range racks as well. Bottom, Weeha, and the Ooh. gang. It's reactive, could get raw there. Should find this one. Yep. Let's see if they can get kills on this. They'll jump in. Immediately, the song is there from Rezo and. Oh. Let's do anything. B gave me from Arjun. They want to try and fight into this. Have they got the catch though? That's the question. Jump off the catch. He's going to roar onto Weeha, but immediately the Winters because he's back there. Lays it down as Nana. Moon coming in the midst of it all. They've popped through.
three that Bot4 are just surrounded as well. DC just wiping WG to the ground. That was beautiful. Beautiful dive from DC. It, it really, really was. And I think a lot of the times a Wyvern pick comes up in the draft and people are like, lol Wyvern. But now, if you see DC doing it, you're going to be excited. goes all three lanes, Weaver goes all three lanes, I'd say. Um, Five to me, maybe oh, Bristle's the most likely oh. mid-candidate. Okay, and so Jug mid. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we're talking about DC picking a Wii higher. They've already got Jug, that's always can be a so Ajit and Nana. They've always had this kind of flexibility between these two players, sometimes mid, sometimes carry. Kangaroo could be in trouble here. DC, they saw him come down, they got the ward out, and they saw the movement. So they got the telekinesis into the initial stun. So they got the damage to, to bring him down. He's going to try and cut free, but Weeha ready and waiting. Surprise, he says, as he's there with the Blade Fury. And first That's blood to DC's mist. That's a, a, a great way for the Jug to stun. He's doing quite all right just by spamming quills. He doesn't care about giving Wee the stick charges, but now it's a 1, so now it's not 10 charges. You get the 17. On the front line as well, Saxon. A little bit of a spot of power. Alfu and Kangaroo trying to move in. The backup is there from Resolution Maybe. and Maybe Misery, but then they've actually managed to turn it around here. They've taken not just one, but both of the heroes down. Yikes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saxa walks it off. Once you roll in, you're fully committed. Mid lane, Nana with this 15 HP solo kill. Brings down the jug. That's. Uh, Nana's probably just like, all right, team, stop feeding bottom lane. I've got this. Perfectly I'm winning calculated, mid. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> DD. Oh, <laughs> it's your worst nightmare. Oh, I. It's just like, pulling up. <laughs> what is this? They're, they're sending TPs down. They're like, guys, we, we got a Rubik here with DD and Bloodlust. No, it was, it was uh, Kang getting off the cliff. But yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, he's back. He's pulled in. The, the, the DD is still there. No. Oh, it's, it's all too much here for WG. They're only going to lose both of the heroes. It's another two oh, kills God. for Rezo. DD. <laughs> Sax are just loving his life here at the moment on the bottom lane. But get ignored because you don't have the best chase. And look at this up top. They want to try and get Arjit. They need to get a setup stun though. Saxa mm. and Misery are there. Misery's going to be rough. He might still be in the night vision, in fact, and uh, it looks like it doesn't matter. Moon able to close the gap. They've got not quite enough chain stuns though, as Arjit's able to survive with the time lapse. And now they're just going to turn a fight into DC. The Crush from Kangaroo coming out onto Moon, and they'll end up punishing the Nyx Assassin. And they may even get more as Arfu rolls across with the block up. Saxa has the stun. They'll turn around with a fade bot, but they're ready to dive and dive in deep as Arjit closes in onto the Ruby. Just needs to get the right. He doesn't even need the right click. The blast comes through from X Nova and WG Unity able Great to turn around, around that play very, very nicely. As Bristol was very low, in fact, but he gets there a bit late, not going to be able to stop it. Uh, and can't really solo kill too many of these heroes. I can maybe go for the oh, Earth Spirit. Yeah. Now, that's one they could probably do. Brings him down low. One more touch is going to be needed. We hug comes in straight away with the Blade Fury to finish off the kill. They had a one. Too. They saw the Knicks coming in. That's a nice wrap around. In fact, we hide you with a quick Omni Slash. Dodges the Slithereen Crush. And he's actually going to be able to walk his way out of this one with the Salve at the ready as well. I mean, Arjit trying to chase. They look at the blast through. Arjit, can he actually get away with anything? He kills the Amplifier, and we are doing a lot, but he's not going to die for it. And we keep it at that. was a very, very sweet Omni Slash. Yeah, pop up. Aegis claimed. Yeah. He said, nope, we're done. What's the point? You're fighting in, you're a bit lacking vision in the area, you know your opponents are going to have a sentry there for the Knicks. Don't take the fight. Uh, Hiding up Weeha. Well, looks to chase him down, Alfie he rolls across. Blade Fury now got him with a stun into a crush. And with this amplifier, we are just melting to the physical damage of WG. Good That's play so from tasty. Alfie. Just rolls onto the Blade Fury, says, I just need to be in position to stun him when this Blade Fury ends. And the Morphin thinking, oh, he's going to get the man to stun, then we're going to be in trouble. It's not an item that, it's a, it's a decent item, but it's not like a game-changing item like the E-Blade pickup. Lane trying to jump in, Arfu's going to get an Omni Slash to the face there as he attempts some sort of a roll-in, but quick reaction from DC is it cut down onto the Spirit. For Spirit to put himself in these dangerous positions to initiate and set up fights for his team. Kangaroo could be in trouble there for the Shikuchi and Telekinesis. They've got the damage to do it. Yes, they do. Kangaroo, he tried to turn around with a crush to hold them back. Blink getting slowed down anymore. That's the really key item for WG Unity as far as their mid game goes, and they're not getting it. That catch they need to punish the split push. Uh, even when they get it, Morphling is not really a hero you can kill, it's just the jug. Hey, up top lane, Moon unable to actually find the stun there. He was looking to try and bring down Kangaroo with the Amplifying the Quill Sprays. Moon is he's in a lot of trouble here. One more and he's going to be popping. Nana no, no. turns around that attempt of a kill onto the Slardar and shoves it right down Moon's throat. The 
luckily survived. He died there again without his blink. Oh dagger, yeah, he's so close as well at this stage. Disastrous. Yeah. Uh, and now they're going to try forcing him to the bottom. It's one of those things where getting eight is mid lane. Not an over. Rude. Just get the stun. I'm going to kill this though, night again. TP's out and back to safety. It's, it's so nice to play Jug in these games where there's nothing to cancel play three TP. Your slider back is so unreliable. Bottom lane, Nana maybe being a little too confident here with his. Pulled uh, the carapace. Uh, and he's gone. They couldn't really get anything out of the ages because it's on a bristle, so it's like already. See, see what, if WG can get get this sort of agenda they need because they're moving down the mid lane. Misery, they're alongside Saxon, but again, Saxon with the stolen should be to be incredibly yeah, elusive, but now a good crush from Kangaroo. Catches both out. They should be able to get both of these kills here, WG, and that is exactly what they need. Plays like this, setting up for two tasty kills. Kangaroo, the and the to, uh, these get the T2 mid because no split push threat yet at top or bottom. But as soon as you see those two kills happen, Rezo. Makes the move towards Radiant's that top lane, top. recognizing that they've got compression. They push and fairly slow without a deso, but it's one of those things where you get so few opportunities to push without a the thread, the split push, yeah. and that split push is coming too slow that you probably feel like you can go for this. Yeah, and then they need to as well. They jump immediately in onto Moon. Moon's going to be bombed. He's got no buyback. And this is the pace that they need because obviously with the with the Shadow Plane into Silver Age build that we is going for. Once that Silver Age is out, Nana's game is is sort of ruined. If, if you get the touch on the bristle, he's going to melt very very quickly. Quickly, uh, as you said, WG getting that good kill, a lot of pressure onto the tier three. Whoops, split push will slow down now that Slatter's TP back, and I think the call is to full retreat here. But Wee's chasing with the Shadow Blade and for a back and mid. Uh, with the Omni Slash jumping and the Blade Fury follow up, Nana would be in trouble. Finally dropped. He's not the only one that we are was able to take down as well with that Blade. A good crush, potential turnaround with the Amplifier House. Can they actually find anything in return? That's the question. No, they can't. Saxa with a quick fade bolt to the back of oh, top. Oh, Slada, and indeed, Resolution. He is play yeah, he's playing a solo back. game here, really. Yeah. The Slada TP back to some oh. holes, but push, but then got recalled in. They thought Morph was out. He, he, it was probably the Slada saying, like, okay, Morph isn't split pushing anymore. We're good. But then he stuck around. Rezo. And they can't get. He's got Manta. So he's fine. We can chase him, but yeah, he's got too much HP. There's no way they kill him. It's. And His illusions are uh, almost killing Arthur as well. <laughs> they won't, but I mean, resolution oh. but push, push faster than five WG heroes push. And, that, and that's it done now for Weeha. He's got the Silver Edge. So Nana has to be so oh, careful God, about taking that tough. first touch in the fight. So far yeah. as he's, he's going to melt. All right, move. Time to initiate resolution with the follow up first, bringing down the Earth Spirit. Nana is in the center of it all as well. They are going to try and drain Rezo's mana, but it's not going to work. And there's Weeha comes in. Drops down the bristle, immediate buyback from Nana. It's a stolen amp damage too, that did a huge amount of physical onto Nana because of that. Kangaroo, jumps in with the crush. Play with his life. This could all fall apart. We've got another silver edge. Nana has to be careful. Sure, you know, if Resolution was able to take Rax on his own up top, the full five man push is, is going to be even quicker. What can WG do to stop it? Oh, that's so great. The Omni Slash as well. Sip 5 is just spreading out the Omni Slash jumps. It looks like Nana will manage okay. to survive through this. Keep the team alive. 10 seconds and the Slada will be back up. So WG with a good hold to start with. DC, they've got We Harm Resolution back on towards the tier 3. Roll in. Immediate stun. It goes into the spike carapace. Oh, he did. He wasn't up. I don't know what he's doing. Nice. <laughs> I thought he was rolling into ulti, but then I was like, oh no, he's just rolling, he's just rolling in. Oh, no, no, down. That is a die back on the bristle back. It looks like DC should be on the verge of taking game two, and indeed they do. 22 to wait, 26 minutes in. Again, another quick game in this series between DC and Wargaming Unity. And it really just was that DC, they were the better team. 